I may be the first person to ever say these words, but there is a problem in the Thomas and Friends community. To some of you all, that's a normal day, shout out my Twitter users, but I'd argue there's a much wider and bigger issue than Twitter that's plagued the community for a while, and that is gatekeeping. Now, to explain what that even is to those who may not be aware, gatekeeping is the activity of controlling and usually limiting general access to something, and many people have been accused of this before. For example, the Tugs Trust and their owning of certain models that weren't known publicly, which I'd argue can be a bit more complicated of a situation. Well, in today's case, we'll be talking about the same sort of thing, but with behind-the-scenes material. Now, while in some situations this is understandable, for example, say a show's still in production, and they want to keep such material to themselves, that's completely understandable, and I wouldn't say that's gatekeeping. However, as all of you know, the model series of Thomas & Friends has long been cancelled. Even the company taking care of the Thomas brand, Mattel, doesn't care as much as they should about the props, even allowing some to be sold off. So, why would they have an issue releasing some behind-the-scenes images of the engines or sets? Well, they don't. Unfortunately, this is a problem that comes down to certain individuals. Today, you're going to see a bunch of newly released behind-the-scenes images. And while I wish I could say these are everyone's first time seeing these, they are not. These specific images have been held by one to two known individuals who have gathered these from crew members and other community members and kept them for personal viewing. This, in my opinion, is fine. There's nothing wrong with making a drive of pictures and keeping it for yourself. The issue arose when this same person charged $200 to about a dozen people to access to these per folder. You know, I don't think I have to explain why that is not only disgusting, but shitty as a whole. And this is a problem that unfortunately will continue to plague the community. That being that things like this are used for gain. And while making a video telling you all that this happens will unfortunately not end the problem, I can only hope it aids in efforts to stop such, and spreads the message that this even happens. I hope those responsible for these things can grow and do better. I will not be naming them as the intent of this video isn't a callout, and I hope both do. Though, if you have a Twitter account, it's not hard to find out, so do with that what you will. Instead, and on behalf of the dozen people you made pay $200 for access to shitty train photos, and the people that have just been lied to, and the normal fans who just care about the models they grew up watching, I genuinely hope you saved that money, since you won't get another dime through these images if I have anything to say about it. I'll even mow your lawn for free if you just agree to touch the grass. I think that's a pretty fair deal. Now, with that being said, and before I get too upset, let's take a look at these quote-unquote forbidden Thomas behind-the-scenes images. And the next time you see an image like this, don't forget to take the time to not only admire it, but consider how long someone may have just sat on such, hoping for a golden opportunity to release it to their benefit. It really is a strange thought, isn't it? Let's just do better as a fandom, since things like this should not happen. And I really don't think I need to make a case on why it shouldn't. Really quick, I want to give a huge shout out to my homie Photo for helping me make this video and get the information I put out right, and also to the homie Frogs for helping with the motivation for this video. You guys know me, I don't normally like making content like this, but with this issue being so widely spread at this point, and after I found out people have actually paid $200 for pictures of behind the scenes Thomas things, I really feel as if this is hitting a breaking point. That as a premise is just ridiculous, and I sincerely hope none of you all will ever have to go through such in your fandom endeavors. Unfortunately, I don't know who to credit for this leak. There are two Twitter accounts that I know of that leaked all of these, though there could be more, and these have all been linked in the description. There's a good chance I may have missed something too, so I encourage you guys to check that out as well. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into these images.
either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.